Heck of a game. Uh, great game. Great college basketball game. Hats off to New Mexico. I mean, those were you know, two great teams, I thought, because my team impressed me so much, you know, as far as how tough we were, how we responded to a lot of adversity. And we, I mean, it was, I was so impressed with our guys and the toughness that we showed. And, you know, you hate to end it that way. And, uh, but our guys just battled their hearts out and made big play after big play after big play. And so did New Mexico. I mean, those guys are shot makers and terrific. But that, I say that, and then it was a two-point game, and we have Shaver with the three at the end. Uh, that would have been a fitting way to run out of here. But somebody had to win, somebody had to lose, and two great teams, I think. And uh, crazy atmosphere, great atmosphere. And that was just amazing college basketball battle. Can you take us through the, the last play on the Morris uh, What do you mean? Just what, what kind of happened with your defense? Obviously, They're, you have to account for their guards. Yeah, but we had them accounted for. And, you know, Tyson thought he heard switch. And it was, and, you know, because we, we, we covered that three times, you know. But here's the thing those guys are competing their tails off. It happened. Bullets are flying. It's happening so fast. And, you know, I got guys that played 41 minutes, 39 minutes. So, you know, just. A little and say that would have been a five count probably. We were pretty close to that, I thought. Yeah, and and we knew that was in the repertoire too, and we talked about it. But like I said, they're out there trying to make plays and make decisions, and you know, he thought he heard switch because usually that guy's screening for some guards and he just stepped out. And, the the Dagan hard shot at the end of regulation was almost in some ways like the. Uh, Shot Shaver shot at Fresno State last yeah. year, where you just can't believe he got that open. Yeah. Um, did did Tim drop that play? Yeah, well, that's something we have in our repertoire, and uh, we thought they would run. You know, again, but it's a credit. You know, credit to those guys having it prepared. To, first of all, they executed the, the advance play perfectly, yeah. so we got to advance the ball. So now we get on the side, and then we ex executed the other one perfectly. And you're up against time because. When we threw it to Naj, they could foul him. Mm -hmm. And so he had to get rid of it. He had to, you know, we told him you can't look at it as long as you need to probably look at it. You've got to figure it out. If they go to two to Shaver, which we thought they would, Tyson's going to be spot up ready to go. And, and not a credit to all those guys that executed absolutely perfect. Because it doesn't matter what we draw. You know, I mean, you get, great, that was a great play. And it was. Coach Drea does an unbelievable job of those last second stuff and amazing. But... The credit goes to those guys for executing it so well. And then we executed for Schaefer at three at the end. They yeah. executed that perfectly, no timeouts. So the team, it's a team that when you address something, they learn. When you, and they're growing. I mean, that was, we were a tough team. There's a most teams where they got blown out of here tonight with the atmosphere and the, all the things we're up against. And, yeah, it was, it was not, it was crazy. What can you say about Tyson? Not just that shot, but 28 points, and he kind of took over down the stretch and had some big plays for you. I mean, that was one of the, one of the better games of his career. Yeah, he, he was amazing. And, you know, and that, you know, there's all these little things that happen through the game, and you're trying to get him a sub, and you're trying to not let him get fouled out, you know, and, and so sometimes you just you overplay, you know. And so, I mean, can you imagine what he did? When he's that tired, uh, the only thing he and I talked about already is I would have loved to see him pull that three at the end of regulation when he drove in to get a two and we're down one. Because he'll make those. <laughs> you know, he's super clutch and terrific. So, What did you make of the atmosphere tonight? I mean, it's, it's as loud as the building I've heard in a while. I mean, I love this race. Yeah. These fans are terrific. It's it's just a joy to coach here and it's a joy to do battle. The only thing, you know, they had an administration flaw. They, they, they their uh, baseball team, we had to run through their baseball team and it was you know, kind of got physical a little bit. And it, I've coached for 35 years and that was one of the, uh, that was one of the like worst kind of situations we've been in in halftime. And then, um, that needs to be addressed by the Mountain West and then we're not lining up our football team and making the team run through them. And, uh, they did it on purpose? Yeah, they did it on purpose. and and. Now, the administration apologized, and great, but that could have been a, a riot up here at halftime. We had to run through the baseball team, and they were in our face, and 
and you know, I had to get our team through as quick as we can. It was so poorly handled that I'm really, really disappointed in, the, you know, that, that, that something like that goes on. I've coached, like I said, 35 years, and I've never had that. Never. Never had to do something like that, where you're in your, coming out of your locker room and you're having to run through 30 guys that are in your face. Right there. Yeah, they're on both sides of this hallway. I mean, it was really, really... Pushing and shoving? Yeah, I mean, they were in, in our face yelling, and yeah. And it was it was about, you know, if I didn't have... I, I've had some guys over the years, that would end in a ball. And we should not be put in those positions at, during a game. It, it is as bad of game management as I've ever been associated with or seen or had to go through. And the league needs to do something about that. And, you know, big time because you can't just oh apologize well what if a brawl started right here you know and it could have and you know I was trying to get everybody through and get you know but it, it was really really poorly handled uh, by the New Mexico administration and they, they they apologized for it but an apology doesn't help if there's a brawl and we are really lucky that there wasn't a big brawl when you're put in those kind of circumstances because that shouldn't happen. You should have the safety of your own team should be not a concern when you're, when you're, in, when you're coming out and you're a foot out of your locker room. That, that's, I mean, that's one of the most ridiculous things I've ever seen on a road trip. Can I ask one more about the game? Um, just how are you leaving here? I mean, it was obviously a tough game, but I mean, it was two great teams. It's not like some damaging loss for your season. I mean, how, how no, you, no, it's you know. like I said, I'm so proud of our guys. Our guys competed their tails off against a lot of adversity, a lot of adversity, and they were terrific. So, just terrific, and, and couldn't be more proud of our guys. I love this team. I mean, they are special, and maybe one of the toughest teams I've ever coached. You know, and, and like I said, one of the just above the fray, they just did their jobs and competed and they all, you know, guys that haven't, Mo hasn't played for a while and I'm so proud of him, he came in and competed, you know, and I could just, I mean, like you said, Tyson played all those minutes and just a terrific game and Max played 41 minutes and Shay been hurt and all that stuff. So, I couldn't be more proud of our guys. It was a special, special effort, and, but you play... You play a great team, somebody's got to win, and that's the hard part of uh, athletics, and they were shot makers. They made great plays. Those guys, those guys are really good. I mean, they didn't, they're not 17-2 and two by accident or default. Those guys go out, you know, they're, man, those, you know, those, those bigs are so physical and terrific and get after it and play so hard. Their guards are shot makers. They got bench. They got great coaching. You got a great atmosphere. I mean, there's a lot going against you when you play in New Mexico here. And, and uh, our guys counterpunched every single time. So, like I said, I couldn't be more proud of, of the, our guys in our program. And, and like I said, the way they handled this halftime thing. You know, that, that could have been that could have been a tragedy. It really could have. And, and I credit my guys for the way they handled it.